how to use the get position activity in UI path we are going to learn in this video so you can see I have run this particular workflow and it gives me the coordinates x axis 3 y axis 605 width 315 height 54 right so this is what um, is called the get position of an UI element so how to utilize that let's see in this demonstration so for this all I have to do is I have to go to uh, no, you open any of the browser um, and and try to open um, the rphallenge.com website okay so once you have opened this uh, it's quite simple to use very simple all you have to do is use a, a get position activity search for this one and drag and drop clear and here let me change this to get P O S I T I O N. Okay, get position activity. And now all I have to do is indicate on screen. And let's say I want to know the position of this one start. Okay, so I'll highlight that UI element. And once I've highlighted, all I need to know is the position of that um, specific button that I've highlighted just now. So all you have to do on the right hand side, uh, you have this output option. Here, do a control plus K and create a variable. Let's say I think I have already created a variable, otherwise, say rectangle. So, what is this rectangle? Just now you saw the output, right? It has the x axis, y axis, height, and width. So, that becomes a rectangular form. That's a kind of a data type. So, I've created a uh, output called rectangle. Go to the variable. You can give any name, nothing like rectangle. You can give any name. So, you can see the data type is rectangle. Okay. Um, so this is the data type. So now once you have it, you want to see that, isn't it? So very simple for this user message box. And you want to see that specific data. So all you have to do is simply say rectangle, that variable. So whatever your variable name is. Okay. So once you have done it, just run this. And you should be able to retrieve uh, the exact position of that particular UI element. So this is quite simple. Okay. All right. So you saw X axis, all that. So let's apply that to a local application. So this is a local application. So on this local application, let me click on this indicate on screen and let's say accept button. Okay. I want to know the position of the accept button. So if I run this, let's see how it works. So you can do it applied on any local application all right so it gives you the x-axis 831 552 92 height 32 okay so this is how in case you need to know the position of any ui element um, you can utilize this activity the question is why do you need it right uh, reason um, there are so many reasons i can give you one of the reason is let's say there are similar buttons available multiple places in a web page so let's say there's a button uh, or an icon uh, which is similar similar icons are available and you want to click on this specific icon then you need to know the position of it okay so using that position attribute i'll be able to click on that specific ui element rather than otherwise it can it could click on multiple places for example facebook when you post it right so your icon will be there everywhere uh, and every post below that you will have option to comment right so in such cases you want to comment only on this specific not the other one which looks very similar this get position activity would be very very useful okay so that is one of the example of get position um, uh, activity on how to use that in ui path i hope you must have got uh, it quite clear and i would request you to experiment and see how it works for you and one more request guys please do subscribe to our channel and in case you have not done it already uh, also do like all the videos that you're watching please do share with your friends please do support us thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day